This tutorial requires beginner skills, takes about 2 minutes to prep and about half an hour to finish. For the fake glass pieces we are using a cut up plastic bottle. You can of course use disposable mugs or cups or anything clear plastic as well. And of course you can exchange the liquid latex for skin adhesive if you want to. And before we begin we prepare our fake glass pieces and we are using a bottle here as I said before. And the trick here is to actually cut up a piece like that and then bend the lower part so you get like a foot to attach it with. And that's basically it. We then continue to prep our little plastic foot there with some liquid latex and cotton to give it more of a hold and a nice little texture instead of that clear plastic. So apply it with either liquid latex or skin adhesive. And for safety purposes we are placing those pieces away from our eyes. So it's a good thing to know if you are planning on running around with this makeup. If you want this to be metal shrapnel instead you can use a piece of silver painted cardboard and replace the plastic pieces with. That'll look pretty brutal. We did that in one of our clown makeups actually. I'm gonna link that on top of the screen right now. With all our pieces in place and the latex has dried, we apply our foundation to the base of the feet. It's gonna be a mess there anyways, it doesn't have to be super neat of course. And here Ellie has switched to a much darker brown, fading it out away from the foot there for some bruising effects. And we switch to a maroon dark red color and we use that to create the actual wounds. The cuts where the pieces of glass have entered our skin. And we paint that out along the base of our fake glass piece. I have glass shards all over my face in Swedish. Yes, jag har glasskärv i hela ansiktet. Switching to a mascara brush in that same maroon color, we are creating scratches all over our face because this has been a mess with all those glass pieces flying around. Some of them have scratched our face but not gone through the skin. And as usual, it's up to you how far you want to spread this makeup out. We are sticking to our neck, our chest and our face of course. Next up, some dark fake blood to apply straight into the wound there. Again like long little lines along the base of our fake pieces. And 2017 is around the corner so we wonder what kind of makeup effect series would you like to see? Tell us in the comments. And to make sure we don't look too pretty with this makeup on, let's dirty this girl down a little bit. Darkening around the eyes and then using this same brown color for some sculpting on the face here. Applying it along our hairline, using it to shade our nose as well as our chin. And then we continue applying it around our wounds to give the whole thing a much dirtier look and then continue to stipple on some more of that fake blood along the wounds. And we finish this off by dragging down that mascara underneath our eyes, overdoing it a little bit, taking away the prettiness of our appearance. And the shout out in this video goes to all of you viewers out there who stayed with us for years or this year or only a week, no matter who you are. Thank you so much for supporting us and for creating and recreating amazing stuff and showing us on Instagram. So all of you give yourselves a big round of applause because you rock. And there you go, a super simple glass shards, shrapnel pieces thingy look that's pretty easy to create. And of course you can theme this look by replacing those fake glass pieces with any kind of pieces you like, like fake metal, Christmas ornaments, or candy, or yeah, try it out, do what you want, make it your own look, and we will see you very soon again with more fun stuff. Take good care out there, happy holidays everyone, goodbye.